Hello and welcome to all of our gold viewers from around the world. Uh, welcome to Gold Midwifery and Gold Learning. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC here at Gold. And today I'm chatting with Catherine Hart, who's one of Hello. our speakers of the upcoming Gold uh, Midwifery Conference. Hi, Catherine. Hi, hi. How are you? It's so good to have you here. It's great to be here. It's, it's really uh, great. Wonderful. Our Gold Midwifery Conference 2023 is just around the corner. We get started February 6th. And I know, Catherine, you have told me you are super excited to be part of this, right? Yes, very <laughs> much so. Yes. Wonderful. So you, of course, one of our speakers. And before we go into your topic, tell us a little bit about yourself. First of all, where in the world are you? Sure. So I'm in Suffolk um, in England, um, East Anglia. So um it's great. It's, we live in a small village and um, have a garden where we grow lots of vegetables and keep chickens. And it's, <laughs> it's a great place to live. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. especially for children, right, uh, yeah. to grow up yeah. uh, like that. Fantastic. So, Catherine, tell our viewers also a little bit about yourself, about your professional background, and, and then we hop into the topic. But sure. let, let us know, first of all, um, your background and sure, why, sure. how this all happened that you're excited sure, about the topic. Sure. So, so I'm from London originally, and um, I always loved science at school. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Got to, when I was about 17, got to do a work experience in the, London, the Natural History Museum, which maybe some people have been to in London, but that was great. Um, got to put sponges in jars. <laughs> my, my exciting week. But yeah, um, so I studied science first at university. I studied biology at the University of York um, in U UK, um, not New York, but yes, that, and that was great. But I, I did a little time as a research assistant, but I knew I didn't really want to be in the lab. That wasn't for me. Um, I wanted to work with people more. So I did a few different jobs. I worked um, in a sort of public health of food um, charity and campaigning group. Um, looking at different community food projects which was just fantastic and really um, great but the charity sector was sort of funding came and went and um, I thought I really wanted you know get more training um, and yeah my best friend her mother was an independent midwife and she really influenced me but I didn't know at the time <laughs> and she was just amazing she was very ahead of her time um, she ran birth groups um like in the 90s when you know this was already beginning um and not many women and birthing people got to you know go to birth groups then and really make informed choices so um I just kept coming back to it and I, I did a doula course um by Do she's I think she's called Dr Christine Vosey but she, she's in Australia now she's a British midwife and it was just brilliant it was called optimal birth and that was the first time that I heard about the neocortex and this idea about the brain um affecting birth and just absolutely fascinated from the science point of view um which I'd sort of touched on in my biology degree as well but um so yeah I, I finally trained as a midwife in Norwich which um in East Anglia and then we had some kids we now have four kids so <laughs> I took a bit of a time out to spend more time with the children in the past few years um I've mainly been at home with the kids so but I've just missed the mid midwifery so much and I, I was just I thought what can I do you know I don't want to be doing 12-hour shifts in the hospital but what you know how can I keep everything going and so I, I wrote um for the mid is mid midwifery magazine and then um put myself forward to give this talk which is just really uh, <laughs> I just yeah it means so much to me and I hope at the moment I'm not a registered midwife so I didn't have enough hours to keep my registration but I hope to return um and hopefully go into more academic things like further down the line so um, wonderful thank you well thank you so much for sharing that Catherine this is wonderful I love how you kind of married the two loves there the, your love for science and and midwifery and yeah. and um, serving people and serving the community as you described also working for uh, the other you know charity projects that you were involved in too and so kind of bringing that yeah. all full circle so to speak right and uh, into into your career and your profession yeah. there and uh. Also, this is like how this talk came to be that neurophysiology of 
Physiolo physiological yes. birth it's quite a tongue twister <laughs> it is it's a tongue twister but, <laughs> but uh so um, let's talk about that topic uh, and i think it's fascinating what's going on this has been something that's been uh, fascinating to me and for you as a scientist and a midwife this uh, must be super mm -hmm. uh, exciting uh what's going on there and uh, what we have learned in recent years i remember one thing in learning in midwifery school that uh, really spoke to me when we learned about that there is during labor and birth there is a, a, an area in the brain that's being activated that is almost like i don't even know what to call it but it's like an area of the brain that is so um ancient or from from our mm -hmm. you know uh, development mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what you call that. You you know you're the, the scientist yeah. there. You can definitely um, point out what, what the right term yes, is. No, like. Yes, ancient. Yes, ancient. And 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 but we only activate it during birth, and that gets us into this birth kind of consciousness or mm -hmm, state mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. we don't know what time it is or you know this yeah. kind of. Uh, getting us into the birth zone, how I like to call it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I thought it was absolutely fascinating. So tell me a little bit about that, that, uh, you know, because you probably know so much more about yeah, this. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, I just think it's amazing. And, we, you know, people, we don't fully understand it. That's what's so amazing as well. But a lot of this, so firstly, it came from this doula course, which was teaching me things that I never learned in midwifery school in a very limited, you know, teaching about this. And um, when I was having... Our third child and it, there was a quite a gap there's five years since I'd had the second one so I couldn't remember you know much <laughs> so I was thinking how do I get prepared for labor you know as a birthing woman and this is where um something rang a bell in my head which was an article by Dr Sarah Buckley that um mm -hmm. who had written for um, I'm a member of AIMS which stands for the Association for Improvements in the Maternity Services so they have a journal and there's this article and it really put it all together with all the different hormones and like you say talked about the ancient the ancient areas of the brain and how this really important thing which um, Dr Michelle Udance talked about as well a lot um, about that the new areas of the brain the neocortex can inhibit um, these and this is you know really shown um now that this can disturb the process and so I read this article and it was great and then when I was um in labor being a sort of a staff I was given um a side room on my own <laughs> so a lot of early labor I was having an undisturbed birth and here I'd read this article about undisturbed birth and it was just great and I I knew there were things that I experienced from a personal experience which is not you know was not what I'd found in the textbooks and it wasn't just about pain it was about really a change in consciousness and you know I was like I was walking around quite a lot and I was thinking oh look this sink is the right height for me to hold on you know and I was very in the moment my planning had a lot of parts of my brain had kind of gone to sleep and just absolutely amazing and then afterwards my scientist brain kicked in and wow I've really experienced this and what's happened and mm -hmm. you know why aren't we talking about this why aren't birthing women and birthing people knowing more about this and you know um so yeah, I just think it's absolutely brilliant. And I think it just helps everybody to know more um, about to understand how we can support this. And But yeah, it's still really understudied. And, um, yeah, absolutely yeah. understudied. I mean, and we're learning now more about also about the hormones, the oxytocin that's yeah. released, you know, all these kind of, mm -hmm. it's such yeah. a intricate, a beautiful dance what's happening yes. you know physically and also the you know the the hormones the brain everything coming together the the uh the birthing person and the the baby you know the baby not being a passive passengers at, as people mm. believed in the past mm. in the birthing mm. process and it's all triggered by hormones and and such mm -hmm. it's like absolutely fascinating and i don't think i mean we can probably study for another hundred years we might never fully get to the bottom of it on a scientific <laughs> Yes. <laughs> in a scientific way how we you know yes and totally we are very much you know in the um the dipping our toe in the pool I think in terms of our understanding but just linking the brain to the body because so much of it is I mean of course we need to know about what happens in the body is important but right. linking it with the brain this is so so important and I think we really need to pay catch up on this a lot um yeah Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about your um, your tongue twister presentation. Here. <laughs> so <laughs> what, what you will be talking about, what can we look forward to learning from you in this presentation? Sure, sure. Well, so neurophysiology, I mean, it's a long word, um, but it's just the physiology of the nervous system. And um, I looked at the meaning of the word physiology, actually, I wanted, I like to go to the bottom of things. And so physiology is just from the Greek. So phys is like nature and ology is like studying. So it's just like st understanding, studying nature, understanding the function and how things work. So that's all we're doing. Um, 
and there is a lot. There's a lot of really recent research on oxytocin, which is really, really interesting. And um, firstly in labor and then a second review about breastfeeding. So we're trying mm -hmm. to bring this in. And then, so I had, yeah, the birthing consciousness is the second part. And we talk about this and we're going to talk about, like you say, the older areas in the brain and um, how important they are and how they, the, they can get inhibited by the newer areas, the neocortex. Um, and then we're going to, I've added in about separation um, because I, <laughs> I feel like this with the attachment and, you know, after birth is still really, really important as well. And I have sort of a personal interest because my first, um, our first daughter was born a bit premature. So she was in an incubator. So uh, this, you know, I had a personal interest in this. So it's great to be able to add a little bit on the, this nice physiology um, as well. Um, and, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and fascinating and interesting. And you will give us also some information about, so once we have that knowledge, what can we do? How can we utilize that to, to work better with the families we're serving, right? Yeah, that's what you tell me. <laughs> um, I'm, I hope to, you know, that some things might come out, you know, because I, I haven't been in the hospital for a couple of years. So I hope maybe can learn from the participants who are probably putting things into practice right now. Right. Um, and maybe have, you know, heard Dr. Michel Odon speak as well and all this kind of, because he's been talking about similar things as well. Um, um, yeah, how we can put the new research in to practice as well as... Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And you mentioned it, uh, you're looking forward to learning from the participants. You have interactive elements in the presentation. You also have a beautiful video that we will be sharing. And um, yeah, it's always good to hear how other midwives and birth workers uh, uh, and, and people working in, in that field, experiencing what they are seeing in their field, what they're seeing in, yes. you know, in their hospital or birth center or home, mm -hmm. wherever they are facilitating births. And uh, it's fascinating. We can really learn from each other and see uh, what they are, um, you know, what they're experiencing is there as well well Catherine thank you so much for sitting down here with me and spending some time and chatting about your background your work and of course the presentation coming up here at gold and thank you so much thank you thank you so much and it's uh, really, I'm really looking forward to this presentation, learning from you here and to our viewers now, if you would like to learn more about this presentation and all the other wonderful presentations that we have lined up for you in the Gold Midwifery Online uh, Conference of 2023, please visit goldmidwifery.com. You'll find all the information there. And we also have free keynote presentations that are open access. You can find information on how to sign up and reserve your seat for these as well. So head over there to go midwifery.com and I hope I see everyone who's watching today at the conference in February. Bye-bye everyone. Thank you. <laughs>